This is a programming example for hex gadgets. I start every tool with the same set of preparatory codes. G0 is rapid travel. G7 is square corners. G90 is absolute. G94 is inches per minute and G70 is inches. Normally then I would call out a spindle speed, a tool number, a spindle direction, and coolant on. However, Hex Gadgets machine has M codes controlling the hard inch gearbox, so we're going to do something a little different. So the spindle's running now, and now we've got to move the tool to some clear place in front of the part to begin cutting. Next we're going to call G1, which is feed rate, G95, which is inches per revolution, and I'm going to declare some feed rate. Here's where the toolpath goes. Once the cutting is done, we go back to rapid travel and safely get the tool off the part. Often this involves an X move, then a Z move. and I always add M1 for the optional stop. The FAGOR command line only accepts commands in the following order N, G, X, Z, F, S, T, and M. Okay, first tool, we're going to pull the stock by hand. We use G94, which is feed rate in inches per minute. We'll declare a feed rate of 1000, which means 100 feet per minute. Now at this M0 the machine will just stop the program, wait for the operator to open the collet, advance the stock by hand, and then close the collet again. When the operator's got his hands out of the way, just hit the cycle start button and the program continues. The only thing left to do is to get out of the way, so we're going back to rapid and we're going to move the z-axis out to one inch in front of the part. We're going to put in the optional stop. Now we need some line numbers. I'm going to start from 100 and skip by fives. Let's move on to tool number two. I'm going to put some important points on the print the collet is depicted at the left. With gang tooling you generally want to rapid travel in the X direction first and then in the Z direction. Then we'll face, turn, rapid in X, rapid in Z. Okay, here are the preparatory codes to rapid the tool to X minus 300 and Z zero. I've chosen a feed rate of two thousandths per rev. And now I'm going to face the part to 50 thousandths of an inch to the other side of the center line. Feed right back up to X minus 190, then feed Z minus 150. I'm changing the feed rate to three thousandths per rev. Now feed up to the stock diameter of X minus 250. Now wrap it off the part to the clear place of Z X minus 300 and then wrap it to Z one inch in front of the part. And M1 for the optional stop. Let's use G36 to put an automatic radius between two moves. G1, G36 are of let's say ten thousandths of an inch will link this move to the next move with a ten thousandths radius. Similarly, let's do the stock diameter. Oops, we didn't have a move to link that last G36 to, so I'll add it. I'm going Z minus two hundred thousandths. 
The Fago R8025 requires line numbers, so I'm putting them in starting at line N200 and then incrementing by 5. This is a bit of a mess, but if you put this in the control just like this, it'll be fine. Last is the cutoff tool. I'm going to, again, identify some important points both in the X and Z direction. The toolpath is pretty simple. We're just going to cut to 50 thousandths beyond center line. Next, wrap it off the part in the X direction, then Z direction. Add M1 for the optional stop. Next, line numbers starting at N300 and incrementing by fives. At the end of the program, we put in M30, which means that it's the end of the program and it's time to go back to the beginning. Keep in mind that when you're touching off tools, the cutoff is the right side of the cutoff. 